Hey, thanks, Malia. Hey, I'm Roger B. We're not doing a product review today. We're doing some more outdoor cooking. I am going to keep it kind of cowboy oriented with a little cowboy coffee cake and liver and onions. And I found out that liver and onions for people, I think it's just kind of like seafood. They either really like it or they really hate it. So if you're a hater, stick through it. You'll get through it and I think you'll enjoy it. Now I'm going to teach you another little trick about cooking liver and onions. Take the liver, defrost it, and I want you to soak it for about an hour in a bowl of milk. Milk will pull the bitter taste out of it. All right, so when you get the liver from the store, it's going to be frozen, like I said. I like to defrost it, and I like to trim it into bite-sized pieces. And we've had this soaking in milk for about an hour. You don't want to over-soak it. If you soak it for too long, it becomes basically milk log or waterlogged and it loses all of its flavor. So you, usually with a marinade, you think longer is better, not in this case. Seasoned flour can be anything you want it to be. You want to put, of course, flour in it. I put some seasoned salt in it, put some granulated garlic, uh, a little salt, a little pepper. Get kids cooking with you. The kids can have a lot of fun doing this. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take the onions and that bacon, and we're going to put it in the bottom of the pan, and we're going to walk away. We're going to put a little bit of water in it. These onions are going to reduce down. They're going to caramelize in the Dutch oven all the way down. I could actually fill this up, and when I'm done, it'll be about that deep in the bottom. All right, we're going to put the onions here, let them cook down a little bit, a little bit of that bacon, let them get happy. Let's go do some cowboy coffee cake. All right, so we've got that on the fire. Let's work on the cowboy coffee cake here. So this recipe has two and a half cups of flour, a half a teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, a half a teaspoon of nutmeg, you see a trend here, two cups of brown sugar, two thirds cups of shortening, a cup of sour milk, and two well beaten eggs. And I think where this came from, at least from looking at the ingredients, is it's what you would find in a, in a chuck box. Uh, let's do some brown sugar. The recipe calls for sour milk or buttermilk. I'm not a real big fan of buttermilk, but I will use it when I am baking. All right, so this is ready to get put on the fire here. Basically, we're going to be baking, so we're going to put it's a 12-inch Dutch oven. We're going to put 14 to 16 coals on the top, 8 to 10 coals on the bottom. It's a little windy day out today, so probably a few more. Everybody always asks, how long does it have to cook? Well, it's got to cook till it's done. Well, how do I know when it's done? Well, you start smelling the dish, it'll tell you when it's done. This dish should take somewhere about a half an hour. I wouldn't even check it for the first 20 minutes. All right, here comes the fun part. Basically, preheated griddle or a skillet, it's got some bacon fat in it. What I don't want to have happen is have you overcook it. So a couple of minutes on each side, and then when we serve this, it's gonna go right on top of the onions that we've had sitting over there getting happy. In fact, we should go check on those and the cowboy coffee cake. And here we go, moment of truth on the cowboy cake. What are you doing looking up here? Look down here, that's where the food is. Look at that, see how it's pulled away from the side just a little bit? Perfectly cooked. All right, let's check it out over here. There it is. Now I'm just going to take a little bit of bacon. I'm going to crumble that up. People get a little hung up on liver sometimes because of the texture. It's very mild. It's a little bit mushy. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be mushy. It's supposed to be a little mushy. It's People, to be mushy. I'm really impressed with this cowboy coffee cake. I'm not a big, not a big dessert eater, not a big cake eater. But uh, you know how to talk. And that's how you finish off. Some cowboy coffee cake with Roger B. And also liver and onions Roger B style. Anything you can do in an oven, you can do in a Dutch oven. We'll take a break here on At Your Leisure. When we come back, more cowboy shootout and more At Your Leisure.